Let me give you a little history lesson. You've probably seen the title for this video. That's fine. This is about Mantis or something a lot of people don't know about this show. One of the first serious African-American starring superhero shows ever created by Fox. It started as a TV pilot on Fox back in 94, I believe, and later became a show. So it was like a TV pilot slash TV movie. And then it became a show, basically. Which makes it kind of important to me. One, again, one of the first African-American black superhero show ever. It's a ser actual serious one, like not a comedy, not not hee hee ha ha bullshit. No, they they actually took it serious. It was helmed by Sam Raimi. Yes, Sam Raimi, the guy behind Evil Dead, the Spider-Man movies from the 2000s, Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness movie came out not so long ago. Same guy, same dude. Yup, yup, it's all him. And the show, yeah, it was a little cheesy. Not gonna, I won't deny that. It is a little cheesy. It, it is. I, I, I can't I can't stress that enough. It's a little, a little cheesy. But oh my god, little me at the time, this was epic. I never seen anything like this before. I always been like superhero fan and I love like little superhero stuff. I can't help it. I just like it stuff. But to actually see it taken seriously, have a black lead, that meant the world to me. It starred uh, Carl Lumley, who's best known as the voice for Martian Manhunter. And recently he was on a Disney Plus show called A Falcon and Winter Soldier. Man, this this actor, is, he's really good for this. He plays a, a paraplegic a scientist named Miles Hawkins, right? And he makes an exosuit that gives him, you know, heightened abilities. Excellent lesson, you know, no, number one, he can walk with the suit. He can lift things higher than before. He's basically like the, think of him kind of like the, he's kind of like the bionic man in a way, okay? But with an exosuit, obviously. That's just how it was. And this show is near obscurity. I mean, like, people don't talk about it, don't even know about it. Hell, it was almost forgotten media. It was almost lost. This show was nearly lost media. I'm not kidding. Now, what makes it kind of sad from the show is, even though they have like some weird concepts and, and stuff, I still enjoy the hell out of this. And sadly, spoiler alert for those who have not seen this now almost 30 year old show, the show ends on a big cliffhanger because the main character seemingly dies. Yeah, you, you heard me right. He he gets, because they didn't know how to end the show. And they might, they figure, well, maybe we'll get a season two. Nope, he ends in death. Now, I'm curious now, why am I talking about this today? Well, it's because one, I want the show to be remembered and not be lost media. It's, it's not lost media, but it was very close to becoming that. Okay, that's how obscure it is. Not even kidding. And also, I decided to do a redesign the Mantis outfits the suit, the exosuit. So as you see right here on the screen, I made my uh, own little concept for a redesign of the suit itself. All right, so here's what I did. I looked over the original outfit, the concept, the design of it, and all that. So it's mostly like mechanical bits and like uh, this little styrofoam polymer suit going on. So what I did was first I did the outline of it, obviously. And by the way, I hope you like this little comic line I decided to add for the concept design. I, I really wanted to make this look special. I really did. So hope you enjoyed that. Let me, know, let me know how you feel out in the comments, by the way. I looked over it. I was like, okay, I'm going to do this whole thing over, but better. Or at the very least, on the same scale. So first, I started with the helmet. The helm, if you will. I want his face to be more protected. So even though you can still see his mouth, because in the suit, he just this little helmet on, you know, his mouth exposed. So if someone shoots him in the fucking mouth, he's done. He, he out, bro. He, he done. So I had a little extra visor right there for the mouth so you can still see him while he's talking but at the same time it's actually like a little protector right there for his mouth so it's a see-through so you can see his mouth while he's moving and talking but if he gets hit there or struck there he ain't gonna feel it it's just a helmet straight up i said little things too for the uh, helm as well which is like more insect like in inspiration i guess you'll call it with the extra eyes uh i took away the mandible and i decided you can just make it retractable if you want to and i added like these little uh slight spikes to the top area of it. Let's give it a more like mobility and well, more protection, obviously, for his head. I want to be protected, obviously. I also add an extra eye set for like extra sensories. So he can like see through, you know, walls or uh, he can pick up transmissions, whatever. You can go crazy with that. And next I added on was uh for his neck, on the back of his neck, right? Those little, uh, I guess like a spine, it was supposed to be. Be a spine connected for the, for, the, for the helmet. So he still has that, but I made him look a little more, uh, more insect inspired because it's exoskeleton, so. There you go. Next part of it was the hands or the arms. I really wanted to give him like a, a retractable blades. So again, a mantis, brain mantis specifically. As for the fingers and hands, I decided to like add on like little details for like, a, I guess you call like the nerve vein for the pulse on his on his hand. So he can just like retract or move around, whatever he wants to do with it, it's up to him. And finally, I decided to go in detail on his back area, which is not seen in the main uh, redesign of it. So I had to put it like in a little comic panel right there on the side, you can see. And I gave it more of a, pra a praying mantis style. Like literally, his spine looks like a mantis, straight up, with little eyes and insect style, like a, I guess you call it art structure to it. 
add like extra like bits of plated armor to it as well. And for the main design, after I completed everything, what I did was on his back, where the praying mantis blades are, are there as well, they're not really blades, they're actually straight up wings. So it's trackable wings. So you can straight up fly. Like a little, you know, a little all around. Like I said, it's all just concept design. It's all it is. Just have a little fun with it. You know what? You like that, uh, that mantis, praying mantis Pokemon. I can't remember his name right now. Scyther. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> I couldn't remember his name. Is it Scyther or Scizor? I couldn't remember. It's been a while, man. I, I barely look at Pokemon anymore, so. Oh, well. But yes. I think I all that together. This is what I came up with. It's to be more tactical, more, I guess, more agile, I should say. And make him a little more, you know, a little more fiercer, too. I had also, like, uh, extra, like, muscle, muscular veins around his, well, his muscles, muscle area, muscle spots. You know, the legs, the arms, the chest. And my depiction for it is... Each time he uses a section of his body, it kind of lights up a little bit. So that's why I add little lines and whatnot. So the little sensor can just knows where he needs his power the most. That's really it. I appreciate you for joining this little nerdy journey with me. Nerdy journey. Nerdy journey. Nerdy journey. For Mantis, because a lot of people, I try to tell people about the Mantis. It's all talking about that, uh, the character from Guardians of the Galaxy. I had to explain to him, no, this is a totally different person altogether. Not even, not even the same gender, not even the same uh, race. <laughs> Or species for that matter because he's a freaking alien anyway first of all i want to tell you to please uh go to my vidIQ if you want to get a discount from vidIQ where they can uh help you out with your youtube channel if you got one whatnot it's just go there i, I leave descriptions below you will see it also if you want to help me out even further you can join our discord i love that oh you want to really help us out we got a super thanks button right at the bottom yup see that it's cute ain't it it's cute press it press it i dare you to press it go on it's cute it's super thing i press it already press it harder oh and please leave a like and a comment for this video and tell me if you like it or if you hate it whatever just tell me just tell me man i'm just trying to give you information about the series that i really really enjoyed and it seems nobody saw it or maybe some people saw it and they just remembered now because i mentioned it i don't know this show's like almost 30 years old now so you know i, I expect some people not remember this or not know about it at all or if you heard about it first time from me well tell me in the comments again please oh if you really want to get a commission from me there's two different ways one is to go on my website, which is on the screen right now. See that? Yeah, the balls in my face. That joke will never die. It, it won't die. I won't die. And remember to also go to my Patreon. And my Patreon is where you can get uh, not only commission from me, but you can even throw your own request to me directly to draw something. I, I got more people asking me like to draw this, draw that, draw Mario, and like uh, offer me nothing in return. Nothing in return. Nothing. You think I work for free, bro? Are you joking me right now? Are you joking me right now, bro? Are, bro, are you joking? Me? Bro, bro. Really, that's all I gotta talk about today. And oh, remember to visit my Red Bubble shop right there. Yeah, it's in the descriptions below. But let you know that's that's where it's at. If you wanna know where it is.